wrap up Live Whole's ultimate holiday gift guide with three gift ideas for the fitness enthusiast in your life. These are gonna soothe achy, tired, sore muscles, whether this person runs, bikes, lifts, swims, P90Xs it, or just goes to the gym too much. But before we get started, I have to mention this wonderful sweater that I'm wearing from Lululemon that I picked up because you can wear it about 50 different ways. If you haven't seen the videos past from this week, you'll notice it's actually the same sweater. So I threw it over my shoulders. I had to throw it in the gift guide somewhere. I didn't know where else to put it. So you can also wriggle out of this and take it down. I think this is how I had it the other day. And then we came up with this in the store the other day. You can wear it kind of like a Snuggie. Love this. You just pop your foot in here. Men, this is actually very, very wonderful if you're not familiar with the trials and tribulations of getting dressed. Your loved one can just put this sweater on three different ways, wear it all week. So it's really great, it's really cozy. I love it as my Snuggie. And then we're gonna move on to the actual ideas for your fitness enthusiast. This was just a little extra bonus. The first thing we have is the yoga tune-up balls. These actually come in a set of two, and I've used mine so much that the emblem has kind of worn off. But yoga guru Jill Miller has created these to help release the myofascial around the muscles, which is kind of the sheet that overlays the muscles. So when you start to break that up, it's the connective tissue that will release everything around it and, and, and that's, that it's covering. So what's really wonderful, we can use it on the feet. When she showed me how to do this, I was in hog heaven. So you kind of get it right in the arches. Oh, this is so wonderful at the end of a long day after shopping. Yeah, you can do this in the office. Give yourself a little foot massage. And what I quickly realized is after about a minute, two minutes working on my feet, I then went to do a hamstring stretch and I was amazed my hamstrings opened up. That just goes to show you how everything in our body is connected. So when we release that connective tissue, we begin to release tension and we begin to re release some muscles. So you can use this underneath the shoulder girdle. You can use it on your calf with a block. She shows you all these different ways along your back. So I'd highly recommend clicking here, going to the yoga tune-up site to get the DVDs that go with the yoga tune-up balls so you know exactly how to use these and make the most of them. Very important to have good instruction and Jill's one of the best. Moving on to something we like to call the foam roller because it's basically just a big old piece of foam. Comes in different sizes, so they do have ones that are smaller. Very inexpensive, but one of the most important tools you should have, even if you're not running, biking, swimming, P90Xing every day. It is excellent. It's like giving yourself a self massage. And the queen of the foam rolling is Ashley Borden, a friend of mine. She introduced this to me about 10 years ago, and I haven't been without one since. She likes to do it before you work out to actually like loosen the muscles up. It's almost like stretching, but much better. So it's a great warm up for your muscles. I'm gonna show you a way you can do it on the IT band where you roll up and down the IT band. You can use it on your calves, your upper back and shoulders, even to relieve tension in the neck. But the best thing to do with this thing is just click over there and get on Ashley's website to download her rolling out guide because she knows the most about it. You can always email her there. She is the goddess of this thing and it saved my life. So I'm sure it can save anybody's life. That is the foam roller. Now, if for some reason you are traveling and this is not exactly the most convenient thing to travel with, we have tiger tail, which I've discovered this year in physical therapy and I love because you can just basically do the same kind of rolling action. Just requires a little bit more work on your part because you actually have to press this down. But it's just as wonderful for this relieving this muscular tension. You can take it on the calf. So I'm just giving you some quick down and dirty ideas. You can take it behind the back. Or you can bribe someone to do this for you, which is always a better option. Maybe along the neck, which is nice. To, oh, yeah. So many great feel-good gifts. I would love if someone just 
put these all in a package for me. So there you have it. My ultimate gift guide. I hope you got some great ideas for a yogi in your life, a fitness enthusiast, or someone who just likes to be healthy. Thanks for joining.